I think that uh, this election was quite defining for young people in many ways. It was a, a platform that they very much utilised uh, throughout the uh, the weeks since Theresa May called the snap general election uh, to voice their frustrations over the government's policies over the last few years. And actually the Tories rule and their cuts to the things that young people value the most, which is the welfare state. So, you know, uh, how and whether our health services are funded and just as importantly, our education and the fact that over the years they've been cutting, cutting, cutting and divesting uh, from what is, you know, celebrated as a universal value. I think that young people were quite frustrated and angry since Brexit. Many uh, voted Remain uh, and were frustrated over the result. Uh, we know around 80%, uh, if not more, of young people were unhappy with the result. And so they obviously wanted to take action through this election uh, to make the impact of their votes count. But beyond that, I feel that, um, you know, from having spoken to so many young people over the last year um, uh, since the result of the referendum, we, we knew since the uh, election of Jeremy Corbyn as uh, Labour Party leader that there was a renewed sense of inspiration and that finally they were being presented with a very clear choice. And that was seen also in the manifestos presented by the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, where young people um, had clarity about the direction in relation to our education in relation to, um, you know, social justice and equality and the things that really they value the most. In many ways, uh, I think that I share, yeah, I share a sense of hope that everybody has um, since the, 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 the result of the general election. I think that this is going to be a defining historical moment in British politics, certainly. Um, and in particular for the most dis disenfranchised in our society. Um, and we've seen, you know, the, um, we've seen a refusal to be divided. We saw that through, in particular, the, the dementia tax that was presented by the Tory party, where there was a hope that young people may, may, be, may welcome the news, you know, uh, but in fact, what we saw was solidarity with, older people in society and a clear message sent to sent um, saying that we will not be divided, that, um, you know, it's not a case of pitting off the old and the young. We are in this together and we want a collective society that benefits uh, everybody and that is fairer and more equal. Um, so I'm certainly more help hopeful. Um, I think that this has completely redefined the terms um, of the future government.